All right, today we're on Quantum of the Seas. This is room 9517, and this is a interior room with a virtual balcony. And here to my left, we have a long mirror. To my right, we have the bathroom, which is very similar to the bathroom on newer ships, on other newer ships. We have this double door closet with plenty of storage space and a safe deposit box. I'm all packed up. Tonight's my last night. And here to my left, we have this little desk area with plenty of outlets. If you need more, you can bring like a little adapter, non-extension cord style adapter. Here, here we have a coffee maker, a little, um, it's not quite a refrigerator, but it's for kind of keeping things kind of cool, but not cold. Plenty of storage space, hair dryer. No need to bring a hair dryer with you. And these are all empty extra storage television and this is the, the queen bed very comfortable I enjoy them and you could do get you can get these split apart and they are designed that way you just have to ask your room attendant or the person making your reservation and so let's get to this right here this is the virtual balcony and mine isn't great, it kind of malfunctions. Um, it's showing this, which is, um, it, it doesn't always happen, it does sometimes, it's just, I guess, configuration issues. But it's just a big television, it's a big sharp television. And they do give you a remote for it, which is this one. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't change the channel or anything. But it looks like it gives you a view off the front of the ship. Um, it's dark now, so you can't really see anything. These are a few lights. We're in uh, Victor uh, Victoria, Canada. And this is the balcony. It's just uh, a fake balcony that they put on, on the screen. And it looks like it's from the front of the ship, the view that I've seen. Uh, maybe a little off to the side, a little diagonal type view. Um, it does have like this thing right here, which is like, I think, it's probably just like a burnt pixel. It doesn't go away. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be there. But, um, oh, it does have this curtain if you want to close that. But I just turned it off. It's, um, I'm not really a big fan. I would never pay extra for this. It feels like you're wasting electricity having it on all the time because it is just a big television. I definitely would not pay extra for this feature. And I'd like to see something different, something that's maybe not a television, something that's more, um, I don't know, like an LED display. And there's this little sitting area. And there you have it. This is room uh, 9517 on Quantum of the Seas. And uh, it is an older ship, so uh, it's the first, I believe it's the first of this, of this, of this class. So it does have, it does need updates. But it's been a great ship. Um, oh, I did want to mention that the, um, the little crane arm is not working currently. Uh, I forgot the name of it. Um, uh, the little crane arm that lifts you up into the sky that currently isn't working. Oh, and the bionic bar does not work either. It's just something to keep in mind before booking your next cruise on Quantum of the Seas, if that's important to you. Uh, it's certainly important to me. I, I wouldn't have, had I known, I wouldn't have uh, booked it. Um, and, uh, that's it. So, uh, hope you enjoyed watching. Bye.